Hi, this is Safna. I want to show the latest siphon that I made. It was uh, not shown earlier in any videos except for those uh, that video that made by the Malaysian TV. Uh, what I have here is the two two siphon, and this is my latest uh, or the improved design from earlier that I used where. I need to apply glue or celastic to the clothing. The one that I'm currently use is a siphon that do not need to be stick to the clothing, but uh, it is a self contained siphon which uh, have a, a strainer cap or strainer holder which is uh, much more practical in installing let me walk through what are the components it's not much different from the previous siphon except for the additional strainer gut or strainer holder that I put into the siphon the same item which is the siphon cap this is purely cosmetic it can do without this it still work and the bell as usual it have a very high stand pipe this is actually need to be cut to length because uh, when I ship out this cipher to those that are interested in buying it I'll provide the maximum possible length that I can accommodate inside this siphon for shipment. So that's the strainer and that's the strainer gun. And that's the stand pipe. It's written here, please cut the length. Those that bought this siphon will need to cut it to whatever length that you need to use. This is about 11 inches. So it's recommended to cut roughly about half inch or one inch the most. Because uh, if you have a grow bit of about 12 inches, 10 and a half or 11 is, uh, is good. You can have it lower. It's all depend on your uh, setup. But I do recommend it's about one inch below or slightly more. The most is about 10 inches below the gravel height. But if you have a gravel height of about 10 inch, we we'll cut this to about 9 inch length. And this uh, can be removed. It's also provided with the siphon. Right. That's basically, this is basically the, the stand pipe. The basic stand pipe, which is roughly around 5 inches in height. And uh, a strainer guard, which is pre-drilled to accommodate this strainer. It has an index hole one small hole, index hole that when you reinstall the strainer you will need to align the index hole of the strainer to the strainer holder so that uh, it will, all the other holes will be aligned this siphon is handmade so no two siphons are the same right, how do you install the siphon into a grow bit? this particular siphon will have a tank adapter it will require 32 millimeter hole to be drilled or cut out into the building. You can have it slightly bigger, but uh, I don't really recommend it's too big. So around 32 to around 33, 34 millimeter will do. Right, you have this gasket, two of this gasket, and this gasket need to be on both sides of the strainer holder so this is one gasket with the tank adapter and the funnel stand pipe and then you put it to the strainer guard put the gasket install this to the grow bit then finally secure the stand pipe to the grow bit with this Glen nut 
from the bottom and tighten up everything and this will make a very good watertight seal as usual my stand pipe will have that single drip hole which is a 4mm drip hole here this is uh, my by design that I do it this way because when I switch off the pump at night I do not want water to be uh, pulled up into in the my grow bed so it will slowly trip you can have a siphon without that brick hole it still works okay then again this is the extender and uh, it's best to cut it to length just reduce it a bit by about half inch or one inch there you have it you have the stem pipe this is the bottom feeder, uh, sorry, the outlet of the siphon, the standard uh, outlet of the siphon. And you can swap actually this part and this part to make it either longer or shorter, depending on how you want to do it. And I recommend that the final, final down spout is roughly maintained at this length. So uh, basically, this part and this part can be swapped depending on how you want to tune the siphon but as it is it will work from roughly around 600 liter per hour to 1200 sorry from 600 liter per hour to 1200 liter per hour you can calculate that in terms of gallons when you are using it in the imperial area and uh, this down or outlet uh, you can adjust it well, however you like you can put it to the side or you can uh, as mentioned you can swap this to to make it a uh, different length and this uh, or you can just make it like this it still work and uh, but uh, I will ship it this way and uh, this is how the basic siphon outlet that I design look like right so once you install the siphon into the grow bit just put back the strainer and take note of the index hole and then line them together and once the index hole is aligned all the holes will be aligned and I, I would recommend that the standpipe index hole will be also roughly align to this index hole so that you know where is the step by index hole located finally just put back the bell and that's it this is made for a 12 inch grow bed however it can be used for a lower grow bed without any problem just uh, cut the extender and minimum grow bit size or grow bit height for this particular siphon is roughly around 6 inches and uh, anything less than 6 inches um, you will not be able to use this siphon because the stand pipe cannot be cut further down and uh, that will require a massive uh, alteration to the standpipe uh, for sh much shallower grow bit uh, the standpipe need to be altered and I don't really recommend that but what it is is actually that's about 5 inches so if your grow bit is 6 inches it's just nice uh, Further reduction in the grow bit height will require you to replace more components or totally uh, different stand pipe need to be uh, made. Right, that's about all on my siphon because this siphon was never actually documented properly for this particular design with uh, strainer guard never documented properly anywhere in my YouTube videos so I took this opportunity to highlight 
this current design which is much easier to install and all you need is to use a 32 millimeter hole saw and make a hole in the drill bit right thanks for watching bye